Hey, this is David Richter Scale Studios. Just doing a small little update. Uh, more terrain for Star Wars Legion on the Anycubic. I'm on my uh, Canon um, tripod right now. Let's see if I can zoom us in. Uh, these are from Imperial Terrain. Excuse, I have a, one of my my Raspberry Pi camera that I modded up, neck blocking the view. These are a couple trees. I guess they'll be kind of like indoor esque on my Anycubic i uh, i3 Ultra Base. I'm using uh, Maker Geek Army Green Filament, all PLA. Then over on the uh, the Prusa Mark III, I'm doing the. This is another Imperial Terrain piece. Uh, this is the ISB dish. I did another dish already, but these are kind of cool for objective markers. And I'm using. I just found an old spool of probably four-year-old PLA from uh, Printerbot, and it's looking actually good is kind of a bad thing showing black filament on camera but this is going nicely um you can see on my laptop i'm actually um monitoring it with um octoprint octoprint is not um cooperating with any cubic i've been trying to follow all the uh forms and stuff about it it is a known problem something about the firmware for any cubic does not like to uh, cooperate with Octoprint, if anyone has any kind of uh, amazing um, cures for it, please let me know. I'd like, I was, stuff I've been reading is uh, a little bit above my uh, ability of reprogramming or got to look more into doing the plugins or something like that. I can figure it out, but I just haven't taken the time and been busy printing. And also over here, I'm going to do another video probably soon after this. Let me spin this around. That is the Corality CR10. You can really tell right here. Let me walk the tripod over. This thing is torn apart. I've, I'm upgrading this whole thing completely. Uh, that's Kinovo uh, silicone heat bed, AC powered, 750 watt. Uh, Nexitech on YouTube uh, has a great video on that. Um, it'll get up to 135C in four minutes, I think, or three minutes. I've had it to 105C, perfect for ABS, in two minutes, 11 seconds, something like that, or two minutes, 18 seconds. Uh, upgrading all the fans in the P uh, power control box, new PSU, that little attachment on the PSU right there, that's a solid state relay that allows uh, the AC to go directly to the bed and the motherboard still control uh, the bed with a, um, with a control from the motherboard and the thermistor monitoring the uh, thermostat on that. And there's all kinds of stuff. I'm going to do a whole separate uh, video on the Creality CR10. So uh, that is it. Um, oh, another thing. I was watching Beast of Wars um, uh, Weekender, and they were talking about they own any cubic mega, and they want to get one of the Prusas because of the terrain. This is a. I bought this for three hundred twenty dollars from any cubic on eBay. Uh, yeah, three hundred twenty bucks. Because so I've said two hundred, three hundred twenty. Uh, it does an amazing job. I've seen on the forums, on Facebook, and everything like people have problems with it. I've never had a problem with this thing ever. Uh, the only thing I could say is a problem, which all of us know, slicers are kind of um, problematic. I use Simplify, or not Simplify, yeah, Simplify 3D is my slicer for all my machines. And the retraction on this, I believe it was originally set at 1.5 millimeters, does not work. It'll string everywhere for you. But get your temperature right. Set your retractions around 4, 8 to 5. I, I think 5 is the best. Maybe even more might be better. But I've never had any stringing. You can see right now. I mean, that's running for a while. It's not a complicated um, print, but it, it, it's a solid printer for the money. Because I could, uh, this Prusa, which is amazing. I mean, I can print ABS all day on it, no problems. That one can't right now because um, when they upgraded to the Ultra Base, they thinned out the aluminum. It'll get to 105, it'll bounce between 105 and 100, but I don't, I think it's dissipating really quickly. I've had parts pop off constantly. This thing is a monster for printing ABS. Never had a misprint yet, and I love doing all my like solid parts. I want to do a um, an A net soon, and I just bought some ABS filament to do all the upgrades on that. So I just want to build my own printer, and um, even all the parts on. Excuse the movement again. That's a pet fang uh, for the fan on there, and also there's a new uh, fan mount in the control box, all ABS, and even on there there's a. Those are, those are called badge hangers that holds on to the uh, PTF tubing and the uh, cabling going 
from the hot end and the uh, thermistor and all that uh, to keep it up and keep you know a consistent um, angle on the uh, filament going into the hot end while you're printing. So that's why I love using ABS for parts like that. It's very durable and it's a lot more uh, heat res um, resistant than uh, PLA. But I've used PLA too. Like uh, The only upgrade I've done on the Anticubic is that PLA um, spool holder. That's amazing. It clicks on the side. It feeds directly up into the uh, extruder through the filament sensor. Never had a problem with it. And uh, if I unplug it, I just pick up that whole machine. It's not light, but I just pick that up and take it anywhere. There's no other control boxes or anything either. It's nothing I like about the Anticubic. And like I said, $1,000 versus $320. If you need it to make a living with this thing or want to put out a lot of print or you buy three Anticubic Megas. It is noisy. Uh, it is kind of like an AK-47. Very kind of noisy, heavy metal. Uh, I probably can eventually get into it and put some dampeners in it and change fans and things, which I might, but it's a great dur um, durable and consistent printer for me. I haven't had any problems with it. So that is it for my little update. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please make some comments and uh, that is it. See you in the next video.